Hello, it's me. Uh, I'm Nafid. Uh, in this short video, I'll talk about the zero touch provisioning and the relationship between our basic switch and uh, central. So the switch has already been onboarded onto the account HP GreenLake assign a license. It is available as part of the uh, list of devices in that account. Um, in here, I will not show you how to create the group, but already been created using a template uh, based group. And uh, we look at the pre provisioning by the variables file. We will add details of the switch. And once the switch gets connected to central, um, then it will pick up settings from the template uh, file and the variables will be pushed uh, as part of the um, details of the switch it will push all settings to the switch and the switch will be zero touch provision without any configuration locally on the switch we're going to verify that operation let's have a look so we're looking to the switch details uh, show system we're going to see the MAC address and the serial number and that's the uh, MAC address so we know the details of that switch we will pre-configure uh, i.e. pre-populate what's so called uh, the variables file and then we will upload it to that template group um, in this case if you have say one switch you will have that one entry if you have two you have two entries I'll show you in a sec so in the variables file that is part of the uh, template based group, you will notice if we have multiple switches, then each switch will have its own entry. That's a JSON format. Okay, so this switch with this uh, serial number, we have added details of what we wanted to push to the switch in this case. So we have another switch, we can just add details. So if you have 10 switches, 20, they will add details of all of these switches to that variables file. Once this variables file is ready for you, uh, with any details that are for variables, obviously, you will have to, uh, you have created a template in the template group where the switch belongs to. Let's have a look at that template group. So first of all, um, in the global view, we are at the organization where you can look at the groups so this is a river central and then we have created uh, created all the groups but i would like to show you before even you create the groups you will notice that if you have added your devices and they have been licensed they should be listed in the pre-provisioning so you click on here you will find a list of all devices one device is not still connected is this our switch as you can see, if you remember, that's the same number. Now, uh, so, of course, you will have added the group, which we have done so. And we create a group uh, that is H, this one is template based TG. So we'll go back and we will add the switch to the group we pre provisioned. And that's the group here. Uh, that's a switch. And click on add and select the group you wanted to add to in this case this one and it's a CX group it's a template base so we're gonna go move now that switch will be pre provisioned ie when the switch gets discovered by central it will already have been added to the group and notice now the switch we can look at different things here so we can see the group here yeah, it's there basically so it's member that switch now that's still not connected is member of this uh, this specific group going to that group now you click on devices in the config we will create the template so the template has been created um, and that template settings that includes including the variables so any variable that you need to push because we have multiple switches will have been inserted in the template so the template now is here any variable that's in the green that has been pushed to that or added to that uh, template group now 
in the variables file you've noticed we pre-populate so ideally you would go to upload variables file that's a JSON format the one I showed you and then show all files so this is a JSON format we have not made any changes but you will um, upload that file into this no changes made so you can go to download the one, the one we have here and that's the file it might say there's no change but it's already been uploaded so whatever was there on that file which is this file will be pushed into this into the variables values and any value here look name uh, mac address and all that stuff will be related to that specific switch the one in uh, in cushion so what we're going to do now we'll go back and um uh, we'll go back and uh, just zero eyes the switch to make sure that when it, it reboots uh, as factory default so we will mimic the factory defaulted we're going to go erase all zero eyes it will erase everything basically i'm going to say yes wait a few minutes the switch will reboot and join uh, aruba center will verify that it has uh, been uh, accepted and the template has been pushing or has pushed all things to that switch let's have a look by default username admin no password now by default or ideally this should have picked up an IP address on VLAN 1 show IP interface brief now you notice that switch now name has changed automatically we didn't do anything and the IP was pushed to this one VLAN 3 also picked up an IP based on the settings and we can issue this command show VLAN for example we can see that all of these VLANs were pushed from the template and that verifies zero touch provisioning has uh, successfully accomplished.